my name is Tori. I'm the yoga instructor for Texas A&M Central Texas. And uh, it's time for our next uh, socially distanced yoga mindfulness. So today I was gonna uh, start videotaping shorter class periods at the request of a couple of companions. So today we're just gonna do a shorter version of a class, but let's give some attention to our wrists and our forearms because much many of us are probably on our computers a lot or seated a lot and we're not getting a lot of movement going around but we are doing a lot with our hands um, and so a lot of those technical movements and stuff whether we're crocheting knitting if we're at the computer a lot or uh, otherwise you know so uh, let's go ahead and give some extra attention to our forearms and our wrists today so let's start in mountain we're gonna stand up nice and tall that's all mountain means we're gonna root our feet strong beneath the body. Rock the body weight a little bit forward. Rock the body weight a little bit back. So we're gonna move that body weight around in the soles of our feet and start to notice where that uh, connection to the ground is beneath us. And then we're gonna soften the knees a little bit um, just so that we don't feel too tense, too locked out. Let it go. Okay, build up the spine tall and proud. Roll the shoulders back. Awesome. Okay, so starting in our mountain, we're going to inhale, sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Let's go ahead and cross the arms overhead like we're hanging on to each of our elbows. And let's lean a little bit to one side and take a big breath. And let's lean a little bit to another side and take a big breath. Awesome. Back and forth one more time. Big breath as we lean. Excellent. Come back to your neutral place. Reach the hands way up tall. Plant the palms right up against each other. Lace the fingers. And then let's turn the yield of palm up to the sky above us. Okay, so I know we're shrugged up a little bit. You can relax the shoulders and elbows if you like, or you can keep pushing because uh, we're going to start to move through the shoulders. So let's use our exhale to push the palms towards the front of the room, right out in front of shoulder height. And then we're going to roll through the shoulders like that. So we'll inhale to rise up. Big breath, expand the rib cage, exhale, roll back down, shoulder height. Let's do that one more time. And exhale. Awesome. When we come back to shoulder height, let's remove the palms, unlace the fingers from each other. And we're going to have, let's start, I'll start with my right hand. You can start with either. Now let's take this right hand and let's press our opposite uh, fingers up against the inside of our right hand, uh, right fingertips. And let's push, uh, tug back a little bit, sorry. Let's tug back with our opposite hand like we're trying to point our right hand fingertips to our face. Big breath. You don't have to lock out the elbow, you can keep it soft. And then release, both palms facing forward. Same thing, opposite side. We'll focus on the left arm. So the right hand's uh, gonna come around and push, tug back on the left fingertips. Like we're pointing our fingertips towards our head a little bit, big breath. Okay, release that grip, both hands facing forward. Let's go ahead and take a, a big exhale and sweep our hands back. We're gonna exhale and shake it out. And we're gonna try that two more times. So push the palms forward, soft elbows. Exhale, sweep. All right, it's like we're pushing all the way up through the shoulder too. So we'll exhale, great sweep. Awesome, shake it out. Let's go ahead and stand nice and tall in our mountain. Sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. And then exhale, bend at the elbow 90 degrees. So the palms are facing each other right before us. Bring the palms and the elbows to the midline of the body here. Um, if you cannot get all the way, no worries. Go as far as you can. Okay, if you've gotten the elbows and palms together and you want to go a little more twisty than that, you can bring the right elbow up, cross over the left, and press the backs of the arms together. Or even drop the right hand down and try to scoop the two palms together. Now we're going to try full eagle pose today. So in our standing posture, when we have our arms as twisty or as not twisty as we want them to be, that is eagle arms. Remember, don't drop the elbows. Bring them right back up to shoulder height. Hang in there. For full eagle pose, it's like we're going to sit into a chair. So bring your body weight back to your heels. Wiggle your toes for a moment. Soften the knees, push the hips back like you're gonna sit into a chair. And just hold, okay, it's like our chair pose. Awesome, now this is where it becomes eagle. Let's lift the right heel off of the ground, lifting the knee a little bit, 
and tiptoe our right foot across our left. Maybe if you are comfortable, it is just at the ankle, or maybe you can cross the right knee over the left knee. Keep on sitting down into your chair. One more breath, elbows high up, shoulder height. All right, when we exhale, we're gonna stand up tall, unwind the legs, and then we're gonna sweep the hands. So we're gonna unwind and then sweep. Awesome, shake it out. Let's try full eagle posture on the opposite side. So we start in mountain, let uh, feet strong, knees a little soft, pulse spine, open heart. <sighs> okay, inhale, sweep wide and tall. Exhale, bend at the elbow, bring the palms to the midline when you're ready. Maybe this is where you stay for eagle arms. Maybe you lift the left elbow up, cross over, and press the palms back into each other, okay? Maybe we've got eagle arms. Uh, step one, two, or three, okay? And then we're gonna move into our chair pose. So we bring the body weight back to the heels, soften the knees, sit back on the hips, hold what you got, stay there. I know it's hard because the elbows want to drop down, but bring them back up. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Eagle legs. So we're going to peel up the left heel, step across the right, maybe just at the ankle, maybe knee over knee. Hang in there. Eagle pose. One more breath. Awesome. Let's stand up tall, plant both feet, unwind the arms, and exhale. <sighs> All right, now that we're here, let's find our mountain pose again. Let's sweep the palms wide and tall. Let's try a little back bend. So it's like we're reaching up to the sky with the heart and with the hands. We're gonna lean a little bit back and then find our neutral spine. And let's exhale, swing the hands way behind us, but stop. We're gonna try and lace the fingers around the midline of the body behind us and push the palms towards the back of the room. Softer, strong elbows, up to you. Build up the spine. <sighs> All right. When you're ready, let's drop the palms heavy to our side. Shake it out. Awesome. Let's forward fold here. So we're going to sweep the palms up. Exhale, push the heart forward. Push the hips back. Soft knees. Forward fold. Okay. When we get into our forward fold, the soft knees help us relax the hamstrings at the back of the thigh. We want to try to keep the spine straight if we can. We'll tuck the chin to the chest, shake the head yes and no. Okay, awesome. Let's rise up for our half lift. And then exhale forward fold, palms just about shoulder width apart. Remember fingertips spread out wide. Walk the feet back until you have downward facing dog with hips to the sky, heart pushing back to the knees. Look up towards the belly button, take a big breath. Awesome, let's drop the knees to the ground, untuck the toes and drop down for child's pose. Bring the hips to the heels, arms stretched way out in front of us, drop the forehead heavy. <sighs> awesome. One more great breath. <sighs> All right, when you're ready, let's rise into tabletop. Now today we're gonna try a different version of our downward facing dog. I'm not sure if we've tried this one yet, um, but it's gonna be a good chest opener for our shoulders, for our upper back and our upper chest. Okay, so from our tabletop, we're gonna drop down to our elbows. Now this is gonna be not as easy as it sounds when we get there because we want the elbows right beneath our shoulders. I'm gonna rotate to show what I'm talking about. Elbows right beneath the shoulders. So we don't wanna scoot the arms too far forward. Elbows beneath the shoulders and shoulder width apart. A good way to test the shoulder width is uh, wrapping the arms around each other here. If your fingertips can curl around the top of your, uh, the edge of your upper arm, you're all good. If you're too close and you've got almost the whole hand wrapped around, step it out a little bit. And if you can't quite reach the edge of your arm, you need to walk it in just a little, okay? All right, so when we've got elbows beneath our shoulders, not too far forward, not too far, out, okay, we'll plant the palms flat before us and we're gonna tuck the toes under behind us. So we're gonna try a posture called dolphin. It is like downward facing dog, so keep that in your mind, like downward facing dog. When the toes are tucked under, push the hips up to the sky and push the heart back towards the knees, 
Okay, take a big breath. Find a moment to decide how you feel here. Dolphin pose, a weird stretch across the shoulders. Big breath, heart pushing back. Look up to the belly button. All right, dolphin pose. Let's drop the knees to the mat, untuck the toes and drop down for child's pose. This time, sweep the arms back to where the feet are. Let the forehead drop heavy and let the shoulders fall away from each other. Elbows as well. Two deep breaths here. <sighs> awesome, you guys. Let's reach the hands way forward. Let's look towards the top of the mat. Rise up to tabletop. Pause. Find a comfortable place with hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Sway a little bit side to side. Okay, let's try cat and cow. Come to neutral, drop the belly button heavy. When we inhale, look forward. Exhale, sweep the belly up and look back. All right, flow back and forth, cat and cow for a moment. Excellent. All right. Now from our tabletop, level out the spine. This is where we're gonna start taking care of our forearms here um, in our tabletop. Now we have tried this before. So from our tabletop, point the fingertips out towards the uh, top corners of the mat. So in our tabletop, our hands kind of make a little you know, V shape a little bit towards the top corners rather than straight forward and straight back. Push the heart a little bit forward, pull the hips a little bit back. Okay, two more times. We'll rock a little. Okay, we don't have to go far and we don't have to go fast. Come back to neutral. Now we're going to point our fingertips out to the long edges of the mat. So now the palms are going to be facing away from each other. Okay, instead of forward and back, heel of the palm is still right beneath the shoulder. We're going to sway a little bit side to side this time. Not far, not fast. Okay, one more time, side to side, come back to neutral. Let's point the fingertips to the back corners of the mat. If this is not comfortable for you, of course, you can put the palms right back to neutral and you can stay there for the top two corners. But this time we're trying to set our fingertips towards the two back corners of the mat. Okay, a little bit forward and a little bit back. All right, we can move slower if that backward motion feels a little more intense now. Okay, we'll come back to neutral. Here we go. Let's see if we can turn the fingertips all the way back to our knees here. So we're trying to set the hands straight back. So fingertips are pointing away towards our knees and toes. Palm, uh, heel to palm still going to try and line up right beneath the shoulder. And we're going to rock a little bit forward. We're going to rock a little bit back. We're going to be patient. We're definitely not going to go very far. Okay, stretching the forearm. Last time, a little bit forward, a little bit back. Okay, finally, come into our neutral place. Turn the palms forward. So from our tabletop, we're actually going to flip all the way over. So let's go ahead and bring our hips down to the uh, mat beneath us. Let's kick the feet flat before us so that the knees are standing to the sky. And then we're going to roll back. We're going to recline on the mat, so make space behind you. And let's bring the spine nice and long and flat. And there we go. Sorry. All right, so knees standing to the sky, spine long across the mat. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. He's going to help. Okay, sorry, the arm's in the way. Um, let's go ahead and extend the arms nice and long, and we're going to flatten them alongside the torso. So the hands are going to end up right beside the hips, and the heels of the feet are right beneath the hips. So, again, knees standing to the sky, long spine, long arms. The entire arm is connected to the ground. You feel it all the way from the fingertips to the palm of the hand, all the way across the forearm, and all the way up to the upper arm. Okay. So it's important that we keep the neck nice and long here because we're going to move into a bridge pose. So we're going to anchor the feet and the arms and the shoulders strong into the mat. Keep the neck long and neutral and then push the hips up to the sky. And we're going to hold in our bridge. So we've got those hips pushing straight up to the sky. 
the whole arm helping us stay supported. And if you feel comfortable trying this, let's see if we can walk the hands towards each other at the midline of the body underneath us, okay? So either way, we have the hips lifted to the sky, knee as straight up over the ankle as we can get it. And we're pushing, pushing, pushing. Whether the arms are together, we're still separate at our sides. Push the hips up. Big breath in the body. Full inhale. And full exhale. All right, two more breaths. Excellent. When you are ready, from your bridge pose, release the hands to your side, roll the hips back down to the mat. Let's scoop the knees up over the chest, wrap the arms strong around the legs, and rock and roll side to side. Great breath in the body, great breath out of the body. Whew. All right. Now, let's go ahead and come back into a seated posture. So let's roll to our favorite side. Let's push off of the mat, and let's find our hero's pose today. So this is going to challenge our ankles for a moment. So if you cannot sit here comfortably, of course, you can keep the body weight forward and lifted. Make a decision for yourself how comfortable you are here. In hero's pose, sweep the hands wide and tall overhead. Exhale, drop the left hand so that just the fingertips barely meet the edge of the mat, and then lean to your left side a little bit. Big breath across the midline of the body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop the right fingertips just a little bit towards the edge of the mat and then lean to your right side. Big breath. Awesome, come back to neutral, both palms tall overhead. Exhale, let's go ahead and bring those palms down to shoulder height before us. It's kind of like we're reaching for something that someone's trying to hand us. Uh, let's lace the fingers around each other. Rock the wrists a little bit. Ease up on the elbows so you don't feel so tense. Okay, rocking the wrists around. Let's go ahead and pause all that movement. Open up the heel of the palm like you're making a little basket in the hands. And let's set that basket at the back of our neck, right where the back of the head meets the uh, top of the neck. Okay, so we're going to, it's hard here not to relax, uh, not, it's hard to relax the shoulders. There we go. So shoulders want to scrunch up when we do this. Let's go ahead and pull those shoulder blades down heavy behind us. Okay, let's exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Use the extra weight and uh, leverage that you have in the arms to kind of help tuck the chin to the chest. All right. Inhale, rise up. Open up the elbows wide beside us and let's for three, uh, for three breaths here, let's elbow act it, uh, let's exhale, act as though we're trying to tap our elbows together before us. Inhale, open wide, pull the elbows back a little. Exhale, inhale, one more time, and inhale. Awesome, let's go ahead and release the hands heavy to our side and come down into a seated posture. So we're gonna bring the hips down to the mat. We can set the legs in any comfortable seated posture that we like. So it could be crisscross happy pose, could be legs out long, and it could be butterfly, anything that suits you here. We're focused on our spine for a few moments. So let's root the hips down strong, stack up the spine tall and proud, relax the shoulders away from the ears, and let's take four great breaths here. So let's inhale and expand as great as we can. And exhale. Press all the breath away. Three more. Awesome. From this seated place, let's go ahead and go into our own um, mindful meditation place for a few moments. And of course, that doesn't mean that it has to be just complete utter silence in your mindset. Um, I, I do want to challenge you to bring your attention to what purpose or what intention uh, drives you to keep practicing a little yoga here, a little yoga there, a little mindfulness, whatever it is that brings you back um, to your mat for just a few moments, one intention or one purpose.
system. That this place at the end of our practice that I'd like to thank you for choosing to share your time and your practice with me here. And again, it is the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you. Namaste.